what I go on my people. So I want to say big up to Tony Rebel um, for keeping Rebel Salute. And people, right now, I have um, so much to talk about. I don't even know where to um, pertain to, um, to Rebel Salute because... For all who don't know, Rebel Salute is um, was a one-night show that was keeping in um, St. Elizabeth, which is a rural part of Jamaica, a more layback part. But um, this show um, has been going on for 26 years. So he, Tony Rebel um, said that um, he closed away at 25 and started a new year. So it, it has been going on and it's a Rasta show where... Um, I just rasta dealing with reggae and um, purification and just keeping reggae alive. You know what I mean? And Tony Rebel, which is an artist himself, a reggae artist, is um, the brain behind it. He um, um, came up with it from his name, Tony Rebel, and started Rebel Salute. You know what I mean? So it is a show that um, Rasta is um, come together like the love and unity that um, Bob Marley preach and show them love and unity to each other and just talk about um just love and blaze the fire smoke them weed it's a show where um they do just um natural thing there's no alcoholic beverage there's no meat because for all of who don't know about the real Rastafarian um the Rastafarian them in Jamaica that um um, preach about the liberty of Rastafari is um, they don't deal with alcohol and meat and some of them don't even use certain things you know what I mean so that's the liberty of Rastafari and so that is what the show is all about for all of who never been to um, a Naya Bingi um, it is um, something like of a Naya Bingi where um, just Rasta being there beating their drum it, it's kind of more like um, commercialized um, how Tony Rebel do it, but it's it's more of a Naya Bingi type um, farm setting where Rasta um, just beat their drum and just burn them weed and just natural juice, natural food and just them type of liberty there. But Tony Rebel um, bring um, a show where he, he kind of um, commercialize it, where it has gained its prominent after um, going down in the record book for 26 years and it's getting bigger because it was a one night show in um, um, St. Elizabeth as I was saying. Um, the consumers, the patrons, they wanted more and the show has been a two night show now where um, it was in a mandeville then they moved it from mandeville so the show is getting bigger and bigger and I watched the show for two days and I consumed it for two days and I said um, I want to say just respect to Tony Rebel for really putting this together. It wasn't um, perfectly orchestrated, but it was put together in such a form where I feel proud to be a Jamaican because the Rasta man them come together and them show them love to Jamaican and show their culture to the world in a different form, in a different settings where the world have never seen before because even though people love um, the music and love the culture, they have never seen it um, magnified in such a way where um, it was being live streamed all across um, Facebook and YouTube and um, just the love that the Rasta are showing and preaching and even Chuck Fender himself was on it and was um, saying that the government should um, do away with um, gun music, the younger artists them and um, radio personnel should put a, a, a ban to it which it's kind of interesting because even um, Luciano was saying the same thing you know what I mean so that's the difference with Rastafarian when Rasta um, meet up Rasta show love and I'm loving that um, the show was, was set in a way which Tony Rebel invite people like Pata Rankin you know what I mean Pata, Pata Rankin was there from from Nigeria, even the Prime Minister was there and it was just um so so welcoming to everyone and I like that Tony Rebel did that, you know what I mean? He invited the um the Prime Minister of Barbados. So it was a good thing, you know what I mean? Muta Baruka, a lot of other people, uh Wayne Marshall, Bunty Killer was there, even the some artists that I never even know about, I know about them, I know about their music, but I didn't even know who they are until I saw them on this show. So I think it was a good effort that Tony Rebel um, 
put into this show and bring such unity and people were calling for um a, a, a third day of the event and i am um applauding tony rebel um for doing it and i encourage a third day you know what i mean because people need to see um reggae in its purest form and see it from the people them themselves that really um show how it, it was done it was made in the first place because this is how um, Bob Marley wanted it to be um, broadcast to the world that reggae and um, Rastafarian show love from one to all. You know what I mean? And for Tony Rebel to bring people from all over the world and the tourism resort um, was booming, so influx of tourists according to um, the tourism minister. And even Andrew Olness himself was there, Queen Africa was there to big him up and saying that um, they need to just make weed legalize in the country right now because um, it's growing the economy and they have our herb curve where people can learn about herb and people it was just a fun filled event and I felt so um, at home just watching it and just seeing how people are enjoying themselves and it was just a good delivery from all of the artists I enjoy watching it and I encourage everyone to just um, watch the event because then you'll know that this is what Jamaica is about when it comes to Rastafarian. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about dread. I'm talking about the real Rasta them where um, these Rasta don't even mess with um, no farmer drugs. It's just purification of the earth and purification of everything. And I'm, I'm glad they um, seized the opportunity to show the world that Jamaica is about love peace and unity and that's why the world gravitate to us because of our culture and because we are just a warm people that um love to show love you know what i mean so big up yourself tony rebel and as i said people it was a good incorporation of artists bonticular was there and bonticular performed very good you know what i mean he, he, he even didn't want to say certain things he ran off the stage and i think it was a, just a hilarious um part of his ending it was good show people i enjoyed a lot of artists that i said was there that um i haven't seen for a while you know what i mean chuck fender i enjoyed chuck fender performance wayne marshall was there wayne marshall did good assassin i like the incorporation with a little dance hall you know what i mean but it was a good show. It was a very good show and I enjoy watching it. I watched it for two days and I enjoy every bit of it. You know what I mean? Because as I said, I saw some people that I didn't even um, know who they are. I heard their songs, you know what I mean? But I didn't know them. So it was a good show, honestly. And I encourage Tony Rebel to just um, do a third night of it. And next thing with people, I think, and this is for Andrew Olness. Mr. Olness and... Um, the the tourism minister i'm saying to um you guys that since as um it's attracting um so much tourists and and it's the uh, influx of tourists is coming into jamaica for this program i'm saying that those down time when um there's a bunch change you guys should have a, a um a camera or a, a part in in the venue where it's display playing um things of the culture uh, we can get um the art um normal Mali school of art can kids can be there um displaying their art so there's a lot of things that can incorporate getting more tourists involved if um the tourism minister or tourism minister andrew Wallace, if they're so into the show and they're seeing that um it's booming um economy when it comes to tourism then i i'm saying that they should um incorporate themselves by using those downtime when this band change and just having kids from normal malik school of art just showing their ex exhibition just um just giving um a different side of jamaica again because it's all about the culture you know what i mean just that's just my perspective still this and it was a, just a fun filled event and I just enjoy everyone performance. Honestly, it was it was just a great show. Vegas was there with a big feather and I had people. I don't know. Vegas, this is what I like about Vegas. Even though I saw see Vegas as a class clown, you cannot take away the fact that Vegas has collection where it's gonna get him um booked to any show. You know what I mean? So that's what I really you, you cannot eat on that. 
that's the purpose of Vegas is he got booked for the show and he came on the show with a big hat and say he's uh, reflecting on some of the artists that he used to um like when he was growing up Luciana was there the messenger people it was just a great show and I personally enjoy myself watching it watching all of the artists some of who I don't didn't even know you know what I mean it was just a great show overall you see me so big up yourself Mr. Rebel you know what I mean big up yourself peace I'm out work in the country you have to look pan. And him do great works too, cause even though him did a jail, him still be the champion DJ boy. Yeah. And some boy we said them didn't want him go jail. <laughs> the biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. The biggest dancehall analyst in the world, Ninja Man. I am saying that. Wait for the way. Stick me on, on that if you wish.